Okay, welcome to All Things Pool, and it's my pleasure to introduce uh, Francisco Bustamante uh, here with us at the Red Dragon. We have a, a, most of the questioning today is going to be handled by some of our junior players and our, our club members, but today we just uh, uh, want to do an introduction. Francisco, welcome. Thank yes, you. Sir. Thank you, sir, for uh, inviting me here in uh, Red Dragon. It's, it, it is an absolute pleasure to have you. Can you, tell us, uh, can you tell us a little bit about how long you've been playing, a little something about yourself? Uh, I, was, I start when I was 12 years old. Now I'm 60, 48 years old. Wow. Uh, 48 years I play pool. Wow, that's, uh, that's a long time. Now, you, you getting to meet some of my young students here, and uh, uh, did you ever have a coach when you were younger? Uh, no, sir. I, I just play my, uh, myself. Now, Efren was here a couple of years ago, and I asked, so I kind of knew because I asked Efren yeah. the same question. Mm -hmm. And he said no, that, that when he wanted to uh, practice something, if he had a shot that was very hard, he would go work on it. And I understand that's similar to the way that you learned as well. Yes, sir. We got the same... Uh, uh, strategies i just uh, watch the good player and then what they do in table so if i see the shot i learn by myself and uh, nobody teach me how to go how to make it the shot i just learn by myself now now i'm going to ask you the same question that i had asked Efren because Efren had also said that he learned a lot by watching the bad players he learned what not to do yes sir that's uh is that's true story Be now now, you come, when you come to places like the Red Dragon and we have the league players come, and how much do you learn from all of our students here? Well, I, I, I learn from Mike a little bit how to miss the ball. <laughs> well, I, I was so happy because I played the young player, you know, especially the boys. So I'm so proud with that, especially I like the kids and... Uh, so if they have a talent, I know exactly what's happened. Right. Well, you've been through it. You got. You have the years of experience, and you've seen it from both sides. And and uh, you know a lot of the kids from the junior program here. Yes, sir. You know they all believe that the pros never miss. That you have magic. Right? They believe that the pros all have magic. So some of the kids and and they're surprised when they see a pro miss a shot. And I try to tell them that, you know, it's just a matter of practice, and you may miss less, Yeah. but you're not going to be perfect. Yes, that's, that's true. <laughs> if, you make the, uh, if you miss the shot, you, you have to practice again, you know. And then next time you have the shot, and then you never miss no more. Right. So you know already what the technique is. All right. Well, I'm going to... To close this part of the interview out because then we have lots of questions from our young students and the members that we're going to handle. I want to thank you and I'm going to, I'm going to let them ask you the questions thank you, and sir. not me. Thank you and I hope hope to see you again. Yes sir, it's thank my you. pleasure to be here in the Red Dragon <laughs> Billiard Club. Thank you, thank you Francisco. Thank you sir. Like what I'd like to do now, we can we can play more matches in a little bit, but for now, I'd like to have Mr. Bustamante sit, and I'd like you guys, if you want to ask him any questions, the grown-ups can ask questions too, right? Now, who wants to, uh, who has a question for Mr. Bustamante? Who has a question? Mia, I know you must have one here. Ask a question. You have to stand up, speak up, come on. Okay. Um... What drills do you think helped you the most become better? Uh, what drills, do you have any drills that you think helped you become yes, better? Yes, uh, the drill, when I was uh, young, uh, all I did is uh, how to draw the cue ball. Mm -hmm. That's the very important, and how to follow the cue ball also. That's so, very important also. Everything and stun shot. Yeah. So stun, follow, stop, follow, draw. Does yes. that sound familiar? Yes. Sound familiar for drills, guys? Come on, good. That's a very important. Who else got a question? How many grown-ups got a question? Mike, do you have any questions? 
He miss, he can sleep. He, he's gonna have a rematch. He's gonna have a rematch with you. Um, Mr. Bustamante, what do you think was your best match you ever played? The best match I never played when I played Earl Strickland. That's uh, 2002. What was the race to, do you remember? Oh, race to 15, I got him, uh, no, race to 17, I got him uh, 15 to 13. Wow. And uh, I break, I scratch. After that, never shoot no more. <laughs> oh. Yeah, never shoot no more. That's the, wow. I never forgot until now. Wow, thank you. You're welcome. Who would you say your toughest opponent was? The toughest person you ever faced? Here in America, back 90s, all tough. I mean, Johnny Archer is the top. Yeah. I never beat him. Yeah. He beat me every time I, I draw him in the tournament. And uh, he, he plays so good, so well. Now, the, la the last time I saw you, you were here with Alex Pagulayan. Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. how, do you, how do you, now, since Alex is not here, I can ask you this. Yeah. How do you rate Alex as an opponent? He's a nice guy, but uh, <laughs> no, when you play him, he's a nice, but he talk too much too. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's why I, I always say, oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> See you, any questions? You have two questions, all right. Speak up, because this doesn't happen. Okay, uh, one question is, you know um, Efren Reyes, right? Did you learn your banking and kicking abilities from him, or did he learn it from you? No, in the Philippines, uh, we learn ourselves. Oh. All we did, uh, we watch the good player, what they do, and then we practice uh, our ourselves. Because in Philippines, that time is no coaching, no who, nobody teach him. Only the good player, they can if you ask them, and then they teach you. And uh, that's good. You learn by yourself. And about bank. Uh, I just learned the bank, how to bank good in uh, Kentucky. Kentucky. Because I play five times this uh, bank shot, I never win. And I watch then what they did, and then when uh, I watch the formula, and then I practice by myself, and then I did it, I win. And then I have another. I have another question. Is what is like your aiming system for like banks? How do you? It aim? depends with po position. You know, sometimes some position is all different. But if you put English, you got a uh, little bit thicker with the object ball. Not exactly. For example, this one. I'll show you. Here you bank this one, and this is the position. So you're gonna put right English, right? Yeah. So you're gonna put thicker. Because when you look straight and then you put English, gonna be here. You hit here. Okay. So you're gonna be thicker and then you put like a right English. Like that. Okay. Always thicker when you put English, little bit thicker in the object ball. Okay, thank you. Okay, so when I play you, I feel intimidated. <laughs> Do you feel in intimidated by any player that you play these days? It, anybody. In the beginning, we feel all like that. Sometimes okay. we don't know what to do, you know, but if we play few games and then everything is fine. Okay. So everybody is like that. Any player. Anyone? All right. Yeah, anyone, yeah. It's, uh, only in the beginning. But if you play a few games and then everything is fine. Cool. Thank you. And relax. That's very important. Always relax. Okay. I have never seen you or Efren play with a jump cue. Because in Philippines, uh, we play rotation, 60 points. And jump cue is not allowed that time. And uh, when I play here in this in uh, U.S. 1992, we don't play jump cue. We play jump cue with own cue, whole oh, uh, long cue. So we, full cue jump. Full cue jump. Uh -huh. and, okay. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. And then it's coming the uh, jump cue. They allowed everything. That's why. Do you ever use full cue jump? No. No. Okay. Me either. Only because kick. I can't. <laughs> 
Only kick, only kick shot because I learned, uh, we learned how to kick the ball. Okay. So I have a question. So since I jumped the ball, did I cheat? No. That's what Strickland say. <laughs> <laughs> cheating the game. I never say nothing. Strickland is the one. You cheating the game because you, you have a cue. I lost 50,000. You can believe here. Pong Pong Chow. We play challenge of champion. He got me. I was I was so sick one week. I was sick one week. That's the uh, true story. I play him in uh, Connecticut, in uh, Mohegan. I play Pong Pong Chow. That's the position. I play shape the seven. The seven he was here, so I play shape. I put there the seven ball, and this that the position. So he jump that, make it three caution cue ball here. So I lost. Is that with a jump cue or a full cue? Jump cue. Jump cue. He got a, he got tip like that. Yeah, yeah. He never miss it. Like what? He got jump cue. The tip is like that. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, pong pang chow. I never forget until now. Until I die, I never forget that, you know. Yeah, he has always been upset on that because it's a winner takes all. Uh, so they were in the final. Uh, 50, yeah. 20 something years ago. In the final for one game, fifty thousand. Wow. Take it, take it or lose. <laughs> Who would you say is your top five, as far as best players? Here in United States. Worldwide. Right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, every everybody play good. I don't care now, you know. Back in back nineties, I mean, it's all uh, the player here in America. They all good, like uh, Mike Siegel, Nick Barner, Jim Rempe, Earl Strickland. Everybody good. But now I don't care. I think the top player now is Peter Gors <coughs> and uh, Shane. Shane, I, it's the greatest. It's good. Very good player. Very humble of you not to mention yourself and uh, an effort. Well, you know, I don't mention myself because I, I can play no more. It's not used to be. But if I'm the same age, of course, I gotta mention I'm the best. <laughs> <laughs> I have one question. So, okay. Uh, I saw you can control the cue ball very smartly. I mean, make every ball to be the position where you want to be. Yes. Could you give more tips for the kids? How could be because, it because this is the why I learned the cue ball. Because when I was young, I played carom, three caution. So when you play carom, and then you know exactly what's going on in your cue ball. So that's why... That's why I want to give tip with them when they practice, they play like bowling on after the break. They can learn about the break, they can learn about the cue ball, and they can learn about to run out the balls. Mm, okay. That's a very important, yeah. Okay. So they need to understand what the cue ball, when the cue ball hit the target ball, yes, and I then do. where the ball is going, it's and how, how powerful you're going to be controlled. Well, ball, it's right? different. Sometimes when you put a lot of English, you don't have to hit too much. When it's, it's regular, uh, you play only normal, and then you're going to play a little bit harder. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, kids will be struggle if they miss the position. Yeah. They will be struggle to hit the next ball. It's, it's very hard, you know, because I have so much experience in my life. So yeah, I, I think it's the same thing. If they play longer, they know uh, okay. what to do. Okay. But Makes in sense. the beginning, right now, all I can say is just keep practicing. Okay. That's that makes sense. Yeah. Thank we you. We have some potential here, though, I think. For yeah. Example. And they, they all good stroke. I, yeah. I watch them good stroke. The reason I miss the ball because I want them to run up. But this young boy here, he, he got me so good. <laughs> you still have to practice and do drills. Yes. <laughs> That's very important. Draw, stand shot, and stop yeah. the cue ball and follow. 
Yes. And then about the training, break the ball, after that ball in hand. So it's good practice. Until now, I still practice that. <laughs> yes, of course. Speak up, it doesn't amplify. So. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Abustamini, thank you very much for your time today. Um, I have one question. So, as a parents, we are nervous when we watch uh, our kids during the game. So, do you have any tips for them? Like, uh, when they miss the, the uh, you know, any of the uh, uh, shoot, how to adjust their, you know, emo emotionally calm down and come back uh, quickly to the, the game? The for the kids. For the kids. <laughs> <laughs> This when my, when <laughs> it, I make the parents leave the room. Yeah, no, this is my. I got this experience before when I was ki, when I was uh -huh. uh, twelve years old. When I miss the shot because I'm so nervous, right? Mm -hmm. So what I did, if I miss it, I practice by myself. Mm -hmm. Keep practicing this shot. Why I miss this shot, and next time they will know yes. the mistake. What's happened? You know, mm -hmm. only everything is practice. It's nothing impossible if you your game is all in your heart, you know. I understand. Thank you very much. Thank You're you. Welcome. That's very well said. Any other? Anybody else have questions? I got one. Yeah. The eight awesome. ball you missed, right? It, yeah, yeah. I, I missed the eight ball. <laughs> and actually, the question is about that. So uh, the advice you just gave him about nervousness. I don't know if you could tell, but when I was on that eight ball, I was shaking. We could you, you, you know, my every, hands were shaking. Everybody do that. Me too. Until now, what I did, I just drink water, take a little bit rest before I okay. shoot the ball. Okay. So, I sh so you, you I should have got up, drank something, yes. and then went back. Or take a bread, you know, and don't think too much because when you think too much, that's gonna be happen. You're gonna miss okay. the ball. All you have to do, if you see this, this shot, just. Do, go, go for it. Like my bridge hand was shaking, my this hand was shaking, my heart was going crazy. Yeah, that, and then, that's then why I, I say you're going to take time. Yeah. Just uh, time out, you know. I All mean, right. it's everybody is like that. Not Thank only you. you. Thank you very much. Kathy, you had a question? <laughs> is there a point where you you start visualizing what you were shooting better. Like I still look at the triangles and how to, but it seems like you immediately see your shot and the next shot. Did that kind of just click or does that just practice too or? Well, this is good uh, practice too. When, uh, when uh, I, I start, I shoot every ball. I shoot every yeah, ball, okay. yeah. And then uh, it's like, uh, I can explain exactly, but like you're saying, it's, uh, it's better when you practice shoot every ball and then you learn how to control your then few you just ball. start seeing yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I can explain better in Tagalog if you understand my Tagalog. <laughs> Mr. Bustamante, I have one more question for you. Yes, so sir. you mentioned uh, your age and you thought that you said you're done and you're just going to do exhibitions. What about the game has changed for you? Is it your eyesight, your your back? Is there anything? No, my change to me is the eyes. That's mm -hmm. number one. And then my uh, shoulder is a little bit uh, shaking too. Okay. And that's the uh, big, it's you not know, like uh, back 90s. Yeah. I have no pain. Don't. Yeah. You looked okay to me. I mean, yeah, but you, you now looked eyes <laughs> and then the uh, timing. Yeah. But I still can shoot. Do you think yeah. that if you started practicing for an event like you did in the ni 90s that you could oh, possibly? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I might win. I believe you. Yeah. I think you can. <laughs> I mean, because when I was a teenager, I don't scare to nobody. I just play my best game. That's right. I don't care who you are. That type, that's my, my mentality that time. Right. Respect everybody, I, fear no one, right? I play too many good players, never respect the game. I just play by myself. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. So I think I think we have enough time for Michael to have a rematch <laughs> on Iraq. Yeah. Because he's 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 he came all the way from New York. Yeah. And so I think let's have a okay. let's have a, we got a little yeah. time for a rematch. There's no problem. Yeah. Thank you. I know he's not coming back in New York without beating me. <laughs> Thank you.
And then I forgot to say, always support with your kid. If they like the sport, support them. But very important school. Yes. That's the very important in uh, in life. Go to a school, finish. You, eight eight, eight, I know. Uh, that's why I'm looking the triangle. Oh, thank you. So in this in this center, we emphasize school first. Okay? Yes. So that's the most important. I want to tell you that I am as a personal matter, I am disappointed that not everybody does that across the country. Yeah. That uh, it is disappointing to me, but school first, kids. You say that? Yes, I say school first. I never heard you say that. It is implied. <laughs> but it, you never imply it. Say it. Yeah, ask a question. Ask me a question. Of course I imply it. I talk to your father the whole time. I say, school, go to school. You never say that, though. I will say it now every time. <laughs> now you have problems now. They never used to talk back to me. <laughs> so I went to Ellie's high school graduation yesterday, and it was very exciting. Ellie's going to my alma mater, the University of Pennsylvania. And so I expect to be at your high school graduations too. How's that? Is that okay? Is that better? <laughs> okay, Michael. Thank you for the second chance. Lisa, do you wanna do you wanna have a turn after this, Lisa? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? You try? Okay. Yeah, we got time after this if you want to get to it. Is she up to it? Don't get hurt. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which pocket you want? Just oh, shoot it straight. I shoot straight? I might regret that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, shoot it straight. Shoot it straight, okay. I feel bad if you don't shoot. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Let me know if you're nervous, okay, and then I go with you, talk to you. <laughs> that makes me more nervous. <laughs> I think he offered to give you a time out.
You, he don't miss that with Efren, right? No. <laughs> I think you made him more nervous than Efren. Uh, oh, okay, this is my pocket here. This is crazy. No. Try to kiss it. When, when you Very go good. back, the shot you miss, yeah. you practice that. Yes. I mean, yes. I, I, yeah. I, I Kathy's, uh, Kathy's got a power break working, I think. Kathy? Yeah. Kathy, you have a power break? No. <laughs> no, this one here. You look. Yeah, you want I go I close to, to you. See what's going on. This one. Yes, there we go. Yeah, there we go. And then this one. Yeah, there we go. And then you put your cue here. Make it open, this one. Just like me, look open. Yeah. Yeah? You try it. Not too close, little bit far. Yeah. Yeah. And then your, Kati, wait. Your position is not too, too, it's, it's not right. You have to little bit close your body in table, and you look my foot straight, and this one's going this way. Okay. And then when you release your cue, you just go like this. You know, okay. don't move too much. Stay in the table, your body. Yes, there we go. Okay. And then hit it a little bit closer more your... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Play co no, no, go ahead. No, no, it's okay, it's okay. I just uh, show you where you hit, okay. Yeah, there we see. But, but this is in the beginning, little bit tired, you know, see, yeah. But you have to practice like maybe 30 minutes. Okay. If you have time, 30 minutes. Because when you play this way, my, your hand is, it's solid. It's sick, yeah. You, you feel my hand. You feel how strong oh, yeah, that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, see? In the beginning, it's hard. Yeah. You, pe you feel uh, pain a little bit, you know? Does your weight go through the palm of the hand here? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. And hopefully, help. And you practice. You have a good, good break. And him also, he need only practice. Stay in school. Thank you too. You beat me. I won't forget that. <laughs> Can I get a picture? Yeah, of you? sure. Oh, thank so you. You're welcome to come back for the next session too. Oh, I'm, I'm, thank you very much. Thank you. So thank next time I see you in a junior championship, huh? Next time. And keep practicing. Keep practicing. You want Mr. Take care. And ne never surrender, okay? <laughs>